Hey to Z, Domain to Genus here, and welcome to 11 Enlightenments. On this week's episode, bison. Bison are native to two continents, America and Europe, and in both of these they are the largest terrestrial animal, weighing in at 620 kilograms, though polar bears and moose give them a close run for their money. However, neither could give a bison a true run for its money, as the 56 km per hour speed it can manage would easily allow it to overtake the elk and bear and leave them both in the dust. This could be quite literal for the American bison, as it must survive extreme weather conditions in its natural habitat of the American Great Plains, an environment which is so open and unprotected that it frequently has dust storms and blizzards from year to year. The European bison has a comparatively calmer climate. Forests make up the majority of their habitat and so provide subsequent shelter from the wind. This creates a notable difference between the species as the American is far shaggier than its European cousin. Another distinctive difference between the two species is that the European have longer protruding horns. These are used in fights in a similar manner to how other cattle would, locking them, whereas the American bison's horns are so small that they butt heads instead. Speaking of cattle, American bison are currently being genetically tested to minimise genetic impurities that came through interbreeding with domestic cattle. These hybrids, known as beefalo, were prohibited from being deliberately bred by the US National Bison Association. However, a herd of Wisent cattle hybrids, named Zubrons, is maintained in Poland. There are many hybrids which arise from the Boveni tribe. Bison Wisent is one which is fully fertile and has a herd presently maintained in Russia. However, the constant breeding between bovine species, which not only include bison and cows, but also yak, zebu, and aurochs, has led to a surprisingly complicated stem in the tree of life. A grossly simplified version of this tree is that an extinct bison species, which became the modern wisent, crossbred with an ancestor of modern yaks, and then crossed the land bridge to America, where they became the North American bison. The direct lineage of American bison seems to be truly linear for only the last 250,000 years, the modern species only rising some 10,000 years ago. The steppe bison from which we believe all modern bison descend only diverged from domestic cattle 5 million years ago, and by 10 million years ago, bison and buffalo would hypothetically have their last common ancestor. It is important to note that when I say buffalo, the word refers to the water and African buffalo of Africa and Asia. Buffalo is often used as a synonym for the North American bison, however, it is important to remember that these species are not the same. Ironically, the stem of both the words bison and buffalo means ox, which does not help the confusion. This contradictory stem is most obvious in the American bison, as the plains bison was the main food source of many Native Americans, but never domesticated. Instead, the bison's migratory routes would be trailed by the natives who could then hunt them as they needed. Or in the case of European settlers, the bison could be slaughtered by the hundreds. Not only were the bison a vital food source to the Native Americans, but they also believed you shouldn't waste any part of the animal. Some of the many uses for bison they had was using their hide for clothing or their dung as a fuel for fire on their Great Plains, which generally lacks trees. Even the stomachs were dried out to use as pots and bags. And with that, this has been Eleven Enlightenments. See you next time.